So to create your Idris Khan layered edits, first of all, you need to open a series of images. You want some of the same area that have been taken from different angles. So I'm going to click on open and I'm going to choose uh, three photos that I think work together as a series. So it's the same place, one, two, three, same place, but at slightly different angles. Now they're the wrong way around. So I'm going to go to edit. No, I'm going to go to image, image rotation and 90 degrees. I'm going to do that for each of my pictures, just so they're the right way up to start with. Now, Idris Khan's work is all black and white, so you can try some in colour, but to start with, I want you to do some black and white ones. So you go to image, adjustments and desaturate, which is down here. It makes it black and white, but it's all a bit grey. So you're going to go to image and adjustments and change the levels. You can do this with colour images and black and white images. And you have these three options here. So your shadows, your midtones and your highlights. I'm going to just brighten it up a little bit with my midtones first. Then I'm going to add in some shadow and I'm going to brighten it up with some highlights and press OK when you're happy. And again, I'm going to do that with each of my pictures, desaturate, levels, brighten it up with my midtones, add in the shadows and enhance it with the highlights. So then you have three really clear black and white images. You might decide to use more than three. That's up to you. I'd start with three because it gets quite busy when you have a lot of images. But if you want to add more, you can always open more images later on. Now, this is the scene of the whole street. So I'm going to keep this one and I'm going to click on one of my images and I'm going to press Control A for all. And that highlights the whole box. Alternatively, you can click on this little box here and draw a picture or draw a box around your whole image. And that will highlight all of it. You then need to press Control C for copy. I'm going to go back to my original picture, make it smaller so you can see, press Control V and it's pasted on top. Now you can't see it because one's on top of the other. So we need to change the opacity, which is this box here. At the moment, it's on 100 percent. The lower the opacity, the more see through it becomes. So if I bring it all the way down, you can't see it at all. And it gets bolder and bolder as I go up. So you'll need to play with the opacity to choose how much of your image you want to see. I'm now going to do the same thing with this image here. So I'm going to press Control A to highlight it all, Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste. Again, I need to change my opacity like this. I'm going to bring it down. So then I have a really busy, disjointed layers of images of the same image, but all on top of each other. So with your David Hockney ones, you're doing lots of them all over the place. This one is putting them together to create a busy layering effect. Just like with your last edits, you need to flatten it. So you can go to layer, flatten image, file, save as, and change it. Change the name. So I'm going to call it Idris Khan 1. Make sure it says JPEG and press save. Then you are done.